16th century Ottoman Empire, Harem Sultan a slave becomes the most powerful woman in the land, was it for her beauty or for her character? As always, talk a little bit about her to see what her deal was. So let's get started, thank you for watching, subscribe, and let me know in the comments who you want to see in real life. Suleiman's expansion, and he was known as Suleiman the Magnificent, for doing such a good job upgrading the empire. It was during this time that the period known as the Sultanate of Women began, which saw extraordinary political influence from women in the court. Insert Harem Sultan, and she's the first kind of first lady of the Ottoman Empire, called a Haseki. Harem Sultan, also known as Roxelana in Europe, was born around 1502 to 1506 in Ruthenia in western Ukraine, under the rule of the Kingdom of Poland at the time. Raided and captured, she was taken to Istanbul to become a concubine for Sultan Suleiman. She was described as being kind of plain, but had a very pleasant personality and found herself a special spot within his harem. She quickly rose through the ranks of the imperial household with Suleiman even changing harem protocol by marrying her and allowing her and their son to stay in the imperial capital instead of a province, as was customary. You can imagine this young girl kidnapped from her family sold into slavery and then brought to a great king to be a concubine. That alone is very traumatic. Amazingly, she grows up to be charming and a pleasant woman. And this is the kind of pleasantry that the Sultan gets attracted to. She doesn't give him attitude, she knows she isn't the prettiest one there, so she's not overly vain, but she's extremely intelligent, clever, and possibly even used manipulation to her advantage. She was a strong master of political intrigue, and she knew how to play the game well. Harem was known for using her political power to advocate for her son-in-law to become the Grand Vizier, thus increasing her influence. Through her son-in-law, she gained constant access to information about the empire and used that opportunity to assert her influence over the entirety of the imperial court. Remember, Harem was the first concubine to have the title Haseki or first lady bestowed upon. To have the sultan create that for you shows how worthy she was of such a position. This wasn't just handed to her. She didn't complain her way to the top bully, his advisors, or play dead. She used her brains in ways that promoted her capabilities to show the sultan why she should be beside him rather than out in a remote province. The title Haseki further developed into the role of Valide upon the Haseki's son becoming a sultan. Essentially, the first lady would become a queen mother, who was the next most important person after the sultan. This was unprecedented because before, the sultan would have kids with a concubine, and the concubine's status would remain kind of the same their whole life. Give or take favorites and the mothers of sultans, but it was still relatively flat. With this new power shift that Rem introduced, it would offer future concubines a huge power spike. Future Hasekis would concern themselves with all facets of government, including foreign policy, and it would even be a future valide or queen mother that would maintain the diplomatic relationships with England's very own Queen Elizabeth I. Although imperial women were physically secluded in the harem, the forging of networks was open to everyone, and tracing Harem's biography shows us the strategies that were available to ambitious imperial women. You see, the Sultanate of Women era highlights that Hasekis and Valides were able to influence imperial courts and exert their own political power. Harem's marriage to Suleiman allowed her to strategically establish these networks of power within the imperial court in order to achieve her objectives. And that's just a little bit about Ottoman's first first lady, Harem Sultan. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more history. Let me know in the comments who you want to see in real life, and I will see you in the next one.